Hey guys, welcome back, or if you're new, my name is Jessie and I run a primarily booktube channel. Today's video is a book review and I'm so excited to share it with you guys. This book was just released on July 1st and today is actually July 4th, so I read it really quickly. I actually got it a few days before it came out thanks to Amazon Publishing, um, their imprint of Thomas and Mercer, so thank you guys so much for sending this amazing book my way. Um, it is actually, like I said, July 4th, so I'm rocking my red, white, and blue, and I'm excited to be getting this video together, get it out for you guys, and hopefully you guys will pick it up. It is perfect for a road trip, a beach read, or just, you know, picking it up and just diving in while you're curled up trying to avoid the heat or whatever the, the case may be, but it is an amazing book, so I'm really excited to, to chat with you guys about it today. And it is called Still House Lake by Rachel Kane. I have not read anything by Rachel Kane and was surprised to see how many books she had had, has out there. And so this one was just a big surprise, but I had seen it around and loved the cover and was hoping for one. And when it showed up, I literally like tore it open in the driveway and like screamed. I was so excited. And um, so this book is about our main character. Her na name is Gina, but ends up kind of like reinventing herself to Gwen. But she has two kids and she is driving them home from one of their many errands and finds this drunk driver had driven into the side of their house, crashed, like exposing the garage, which was her husband's space. She was not allowed in there, you know, didn't really ask a lot of questions. Come to find out, not a spoiler, definitely says it on the back of the book that his secrets basically come to light and they find out that he had killed a woman who was hanging in the garage. But not only that, as things start to unravel, she figures out that there is definitely more women, just the one. So he is a serial killer and everything just starts to like snowball. I mean, literally from the start in the prologue, it hooked me and like grabbed me and just didn't let go. Like I love this. And so that's kind of the basic concept, like they go on the run after fact, and there's just a lot of things that happen. I don't think this is overly like intense, but it is really good. So it's a, like I said, like a really good thriller. It's pretty solid all around. I was really pleased by this. It is um, suspenseful. It creates a lot of paranoia, keeps you on edge. Can be a little gruesome when they start talking about some of her husband's like murders and whatnot but it was never super overwhelming i don't think um i don't deal very well with a lot of that but i think this was really well done it also left me questioning literally everyone i didn't trust anyone in this book every time a new character came into play i was immediately suspicious of them and waiting for some kind of proof to either prove me wrong or right or whatever and so i was just constantly guessing clear to the end, which was a really nice surprise too. And then kind of moving forward from the storyline to the actual characters. So Gwen or Gina was such a strong female character and I really loved that aspect about her. She was super tough, she was brave, she was very protective of her kids, she loved her kids like with such like, like a fierce kind of like motherly protection love like um, and I thought that was really nice to see like how far she was willing to go just to save her kids and so I just think this goes to prove a mother's love, you know, and all of that good stuff. Um, but I felt like at times she could be a little bit repetitive with some of her things, like she was very cautious, had certain routines, was very kind of strict with the kids and, you know, making sure that they knew um, different safety drills and how to escape certain, certain situations and whatnot, so I feel like some of it got um, very repetitive from what she would say or whatever, but I also on the flip side of that can totally understand because they're kids, they need that to be repetitive and drilled into them in case, you know, something does happen, they don't totally panic and freak out, they know what to do. So I feel like it also helps keep her a little bit calm too, being able to recite certain things to, you know, so that you know what to do. So I feel like I, I saw both sides, but as a reader, it like kept coming up and you're like, yes, I get it. You have to have the alarm on or whatever it may be. But, um, so there was that. And I felt so bad for the kids that they didn't get to have roots. They couldn't really have a lot of friendships. They couldn't be just like a normal kid because of everything that had happened. But on the same token, I think both of these kids were growing up very strong and aware of everything. And I almost wish we could have gotten a little bit more of them because I feel like you see peaks of them trying to be kids and then kind of, you know, having to grow up a little too soon. And you start to see some of these strengths kind of show through. And I, I wanted to see more of that. And you see a little bit more towards the end, but I really 
kind of wanted more. Like I feel like these kids are just not, I don't, I don't think you get enough of them. Like you're introduced to them, you know a little bit about them, you see kind of their attitudes or how they deal with things, but I really feel like if you dove a little bit deeper, we would see that they have so much more strength in this current condition that it's not affecting them quite as badly as the mom may think. And so um, anyway, yeah, I really did like the characters. Didn't have too many problems with it. And I just, I think the story is what totally did it for me. So now talking about the ending of this baby. So I totally expected a cliffhanger and I know that there is a second book coming out and I will touch a little bit more on that in just a few minutes, but I, I expected some kind of cliffhanger because I knew there was a second book and usually that's how it works, right? They leave you totally hanging. And what was really nice about this is there wasn't like a dead cliffhanger that just left you like, what the F kind of moment. It had a nice conclusion to everything that was happening in this story, it kind of wrapped everything up, but then it also did leave you with, not really leaves you with questions, but it leaves you begging for more. And I loved it. I am so excited to see what happens in the next one. This is a novel that kind of reminds me, if you guys watched The Following, that TV show with Kevin Bacon, I was obsessed with it. I absolutely loved it. It's all about the whole like serial killer, the cult following, all that goodness. And this totally has so much vibes kind of relating to that. And so I think that's another reason that I just just love this book. Like I'm kind of obsessing about it at the moment. Like I want to tell everyone about it. I'm like, you know, sending recommend recommendations to a lot of people and on Bookstagram, I'm like, you guys have to check this out. If you like this, you'll love this. And so I just, I want more people to read this because I really fell in love with it. And a lot of it is just because that kind of whole vibe that's going on that kept you on your toes, had an interesting kind of concept, really well thought out kind of plot line. Like I said, the characters could have done a little bit more, but it's definitely, you know, the story just held its own for sure. So like I said, the second book is coming out later this year. It's on December 12th. It's going to be called Kilman Creek. Let me, yes, Kilman Creek. So I'm really excited to just like continue on and I hope I get that copy too because I am just in love with this and if they continue to make this out, like I have no idea. I can't even make like a guess as to what's going to happen. Obviously there's like a hint of something that's going to happen, but I have no idea how it's going to turn out. And like I said, I am just begging for more. I want the next book like right now to just continue. So yeah, safe to say that I love this. I gave this five stars. I just, I cannot wait. And I definitely look forward to more of Rachel Kane's work. All right, you guys. So Still House Lake was a really strong thriller. It definitely had some twists in there. It had a strong female lead. I, it just had like all these elements that I really, really love and to see it kind of come to like this really great ending that gives you that conclusion but also leaves you like hanging and wanting more and just like can't wait for the next one, you know, not leaving you ticked off like they just like dropped everything and you have to like wait forever. So I'm glad it's only like what, five or six months away because I am begging for more, I do want more. So please, please, please like just pick this up. Let me know if you guys feel the same way that I do because I just loved it. So yeah, um, those are my thoughts and opinions on this book. So if you guys are looking for a road trip book, a great summer book or whatever, like this, this should do it if you guys like a good thriller. Um, hopefully I'm not totally overhyping it for you guys, but I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys will too. So if you guys are interested in it, there's a link below to where you can purchase your copy through Amazon and by doing so you help support this channel so that would be greatly appreciated. Um, as always, thumbs up and subscribe if you guys haven't. I have a lot more coming your way this week that I'm really excited about and then um, I am leaving on vacation so that's why I'm kind of pre-scheduling and getting a lot of this goodness and then I'm excited to come back home after vacation and get ready to roll with a bunch of new videos and possibly looking forward to launching a different series or um, like a little mini series on the channel about like just weekly kind of reads and just touching base that way. Um, adding a little bit more of that lifestyle and kind of vlogging to it. And I think it could be really fun. So if you guys like that idea, definitely let me know too. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.